Hello everyone, um, so before we get started, I'm sure people know straight away which TD I'm going to give out about, which minister, um, and you have to say to yourself, how, and again I keep asking this question, but how is she still there? Please, somebody elaborate, please, somebody please elaborate and tell me how she's still there, because if that was in the private sector, she'd be gone by now, um, but yeah, it's a great country, two weeks ago she said there wasn't a shortage of staff, there was uh, you know, uh, substitute teachers, things like that. Um, and obviously she was lying out of her talking absolute rubbish, as she usually does. But um, but more or less, she said, you know, there's no such thing as the staff and shortage. Well, all right. Um, now, two weeks on, um, so uh, the primary school unions are basically saying, you know, we have to send children home. Even though parents are paying for their education, you know, we have to send the children home because there's no teachers to teach them. Um, so, you know, that's it's a great, it's a great country, did I ever tell you that? And how... You know, again, this woman must not be able to see Norma Foley. She must not be able to see what's happened. Or either she's just not bothered to see. Like, come on now. At this stage, you know, she's... Like, again, you couldn't make it up. You really couldn't make it up. And, you know, there's half of the teachers out in the country. Like, even my local primary school down here. If they have a car for sniffle, they've been sent home. The principals will send them home. Saying no, not to come in. And the Department of Education have basically said to children and to other people, to young people, not to come in. And if you have a sniffle or anything like that, like those the children, you know, in a few primary schools around here, they have a small sniffle or had a walk off once and they got set home. Um, and again, it's barely anybody leaving the schools, to be totally honest. Because half of them are at home because they have a small cough and because it's the flu. Um, and they send them home. And again, number 40 is just, again, she's gone missing. She's really just gone missing for the last. Three or four days, she's got like five days of it. She's about gone missing. She's literally gone missing. She's nowhere to be found. Um, again, after the Micah children went up to in went up to Dublin out to Leicester House, she went and took about ten letters, and then the West she didn't talk to the West children, and then went away back into Leicester House, um, because they were asking hard questions and she didn't want to answer them. Um, but again, where's the media? You think the media be going absolute ham into Number Forty, especially because she said herself again she dug a, she's digging a hole for herself really. Um, because she said herself, and I quote that she said there's no staff and issues, and she said that the minister for education said that in a, in a press uh, conference, and you take OT and the rest and be going absolutely nuts, saying how is a minister allowed to say this and then doesn't deliver it, um, you know, but again OT are too busy worrying about the unvaccinated and they're just demonising them twenty four hours a day, seven days a week for their own personal choice. Why well, no before he's the minister and getting over a hundred thousand, maybe two hundred thousand a year. Um, Captain expects this and everything like that. Um, and again, she's not doing her job properly. Well, the, properly is not even the word. Not at all. She's not doing her job at all. Um, and again, I asked the question, who actually in Fianna Fáil was the bright spark that actually came along and said Number 40 would make a good education minister? Because I say he looks like such a fool now, whoever recommended Number 40 to be education minister. Um, again, there's many other good ministers you could have... Probably this three or the Fianna Fáil probably TDs I would say it would be decent enough ministers for education, not like normal forty, but again it's just a mess. It's like let's be honest, it's a mess. Like again, parents are paying, the tax man for the government to make sure the children get an education, and because there's no teachers, they're gonna just say you know what we're gonna send them home. They don't need an education. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Um, in the, in primary schools, isn't that great? Like it's ridiculous. Um, and then they're coming out with this, like, they're desperate to get children masked up to the max. Uh, even though there's no need, you know, children with young immune systems are very stable and very, obviously, obviously the younger you are, the more, you know, more healthy and more fit you are. Um, compared to an older person, never but they're desperate to get them vaccinated and masked up. Um, Luke O'Neill's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, whinging about it. Um, but, again, this is the thing, you need to understand that schools are safe, as Norma Foley said many times, um, which is not a conspiracy to him, and it's the Norma Foley said it, then you know, <laughs> there's no debate about it. It's the Communist Party way, no debate, you just go with it. Um, <laughs> like, you know, you only laugh at this crack, you really only laugh at it. But, um, yeah, how do you think about that? Uh, and not to mention about the amount of children that on school buses or anything, get bus tickets and paid for bus tickets. There's nothing been done about that. Normal Foley's disappeared on that. She know what would be found. There's children that's at home that, you know, they have an exception for wearing masks. They've been not allowed into the schools and things like that. 
And there's many other, many other things and the, you know, the Department of Education, no one Foley particularly, just doesn't give a damn. Um, so, yeah, great country. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mess, let's be honest, it's a mess. Yeah, it's a mess. Um, because I, I, I don't know, I wouldn't say I'd be a great med- education minister, but, you know, kind of a mess, especially when you don't acknowledge that it's a mess. Um, when you just deny that's a mess, even though it's perfectly obvious to see that it's just literally crumbling to the ground. Um, and no before they said everything's grand, everything's fine, and um, there's no staff shortage just at all. And then two weeks later, everything just f- collapses into bits. Um, it's a great country.